everybody today I'm going to show you guys how I bypass Windows Defender over Windows 11 so first of all I programmed in C++ the uh, malware or reverse shell which uh, will then infect the Windows machine and send the connection back to my um, Kali Linux machine so in this scenario it can happen that maybe you can modify the socket or the code inside that you can listen to external connections outside the, your network and from there on you can infect uh, machines that are outside of your network so first first of all uh, what I did is I compiled the um, payload uh, the, the uh, programmed code and as you guys can see here it's a payload this normal one it gets detected by uh, Windows Defender normally but what I did was uh, put this file inside here and I put this as encoded four times because I used base64 to encode it so I'm gonna show you guys how I encode it again so first of all we, we use base64 encoding to manipulate the data as how it gets displayed so it can really change the way Windows Defender will scan it in runtime also so first of all I'm gonna um, do base let's do uh, encoded four times dot exe as a binary and then we put it inside a encoded four times text file and as you guys can see it's encoded here there's the encoded um, uh, like the, the exit binary which is encoded in base64 now we will decode it encoded times we will uh, decode this text into another uh, executable executable binary so I'm gonna name it um, final malware.exe so after we done this that's the malware and now I'm gonna listen to the connection uh, which is integrated inside the code which I have compiled from so now if we will put it on a Windows machine I will close this and then if we see the listener it listens to the connection of the um, malware now if we uh, click on it and as you guys can see I received the connection we can look into the directi directory of the system we can look at the system information <laughs> I can look at the task list and wh what processes are like open I can even open uh, Firefox and go to some website as you guys can see I open Google so that's my way I found out to um, make the, the, the let's say malware which I compiled to be uh, FUD and undetectable from antivirus and um, so it's very basic but for example when I used um, for the input output memory clearance when you use the as the input part as TD output and so on. I use zero zero memory and some few other things which will make the payload more secure or not to be checked by antivirus. For example, I use the port 443, which is actually a port which is normally secure and used for encrypted traffic. Um, maybe it tricks also the antivirus by that. And now, if we will look into a website and scan this binary, we can then see also that it won't detect it <laughs> and as you guys can see on all antiviruses it seems like it's clean so thanks for watching guys and I just want to show like that I've found a way to actually make my malware undetectable and also uh, be executed on the latest Windows Defender security antivirus and that's how 
I did it and that's my technique basically. Between the non-encoded normal standard one that I compiled and the encoded one that I showed in the previous clip. So I'm not lying to you guys and showing you guys the truth as of how it really executes. So if I click this one, you guys can see the Windows security threats found and all this problem. But what will happen if I execute the encoded one here? As you guys can see, the connection comes and I have connection to the system and have full control.